Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to another Digimon the Card Game unboxing. These are for the brand new starter decks, number 9 and number 10. We have the Ultimate Ancient Dragon, and we have a Parallel World Tactician. Uh, these are to go with the brand new set that just came out, the New Awakening set, um, which will have some uh, the fusion monsters in there. Uh, from, or Armored Monsters, I believe, from Digimon Zero Two, uh, or Adventure O2. So we will do another video, which will have some booster pack unboxings, but for now we're just going to do the two starter decks. Uh, so like all of the other starter decks, they're going to list on the side what exactly is in each one of them. So I'll just hold that on there for just a sec, and then you can pause it if you really want to read it. Otherwise, I'd rather just go in. We are also going to get... Uh, so the same thing on both boxes on the back, but we're going to get uh, your three types of cards, your Gigimon cards, your Gigi eggs, and your option cards. Um, so we'll get one 54 card deck, two memory cages, and three index cards. Uh, so who's going to be in this set? So it looks like we have uh, Imperial Dramon, uh, then we have Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode, and B, Dino Beamon, so we're gonna, or Pyodramon, Dino Beamon, and Pyodramon Dragon Mode, uh, to be our ultimate ancient dragons, and our other set is going to be, uh, Angel Woman, uh, Lady Devimon, and, uh, is that Massamon, I believe? I could be wrong. Alright, so let's hop in and see what we got. So, these decks just have, uh, your main starters, but yeah, if you're looking to play, great way to pick it up and get something. So the original bunch of starters, uh, they went through six of them, which had all six colors. Red, I think it was uh, red and blue and yellow were the first three. Then it was green, black, and purple were the second three. Um, and those are just to kind of get you started on the colors. Then after that, they jumped into two separate ones with uh, Greymon and U-Force V-Mon. Uh, it was Rise Greymon, I believe, and U-Force V-Mon, um, which had, um, which had so, a couple of mixed colors, so usually like a dual color. This is going to add some more dual colors in there, uh, just uh, two different colored decks to kind of make it more interesting. So we're going to get our game rules first, I'm not going to go over all of these, but these are your index cards you get. Let's just explain what all the rules are, game flow, um, and I'm actually probably putting these on backwards because they have the instruction number on top, uh, so I just showed you how to play this game backwards. Uh, but there is a tutorial on DigimonWorld.com, there's also an app that lets you learn how to play, it's a very good app for learning how to play the game, it gives you three pre-made pre structure decks and how to play as them, um, but it's not like a full online mode. Um, also, we are going to get our Digi Gauges. So these will be special ones. They're foil. A little bit thicker than regular uh, card stock that you would get just by buying the uh, booster packs. Because you always get them in the booster packs. So that one has Imperial Dramon. I got Pile Dramon. Sorry. And then this one will have Dino Beamon. And then you flip them. One player plays as one. One plays as the other. So we got blue and green in this deck. Um, so if you're familiar with Digimon Adventure 02, uh, which is the second season of Digimon, this is where these guys will be from, so we're going to have, um, the main characters, uh, will be based off of Vimon and Wormdramon, um, which are, oh, why is my brain just immediately forgot both of their names, um, and I now have Tamer cards in here. I did not get Tamer cards. It is Ken. Ken has Wormdramon, and Davis has uh, Vimon. I don't know why I forgot what their names were for whatever reason. Uh, it's going to be based off of those two. So we're going to start off with our Digi Eggs, which have the white back. So we get four copies of Mingomon, who's a uh, level two. Uh, it's a starter deck, number nine. They do have their uh, rarities, like Uncommon. Um, I think I just put that in there for the sake in case they ever reprint them in other sets. Um, that's a level they want to be at. For a starter deck, it doesn't really make a, that big of a difference. Um, 
is an in-training larva, while well, what is your turn, and you have a blue Digimon in play, this Digimon gains 1,000 BP. Uh, then we'll start off with our rookies. We're going to have two copies of Vmon. Uh, he also has a special cost. You can play him as blue or green. Um, so he's a mini dragon type. Uh, I can't really get that small text down here to focus super well. But it says, on play, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Then add one card with three and traits among them to your hand. Place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. So free is kind of special ones because there's generally your three uh, different data types here. So it's like their level class is rookie, uh, rookie ultimate, rookie camping ultimate mega. Um, there's also hybrids and armor. Um, then their seconds are like data type, I guess, or their and what you call it is their type. So it's usually data, virus, and vaccine, which are like the three triangle form but then you get some that are free and then some of them are unidentified um and then their last type is like their race kind of things the mini dragon um all right so we'll have that so then we're gonna get four copies and then all of these cards will then have your regular blue background just the uh eggs get the small one so you have betamon um no special abilities a rookie virus amphibian we're going to get Four copies of Vmon's Evolution, X Vmon. Um, so again, keep with that dual color over there for leveling up. Um, when you would play this card from your hand, if you have a green Digimon play, reduce its cost by one. When attacking, if you have a green Digimon, this Digimon gets 1,000 DP for the turn. Then we're gonna get some foil cards. We have some super rares. We have two copies of Pyudramon. Now, these are special because these are multicolored cards. This is a new thing they started doing. So he's half green, half blue. Um, so he's Ultimate, Free, and Dragon King. So this is DNA Digivolution 0 from a level 4 blue and a level 4 green. Um, Digivolve unsuspended with two specific Digimon stacked on top of each other. When Digivolving, when DNA Digivolving, return one of your opponent's Digimon with 6,000 DP or less. To the bottom of its owner's deck. When attacking once per turn, unsuspend this Digimon. So, what this is saying, I believe, is that you can, um, uh, you can basically recruit it for its cost, but you have to Digivolve it from one of these two, or if you have both, you can pay, play it for free. Uh, so it's kind of an interesting idea there. You Digivolve two guys together, um, I think. I don't know if it's... Do the rules at all specify this a little bit better? I'm just going to see since they have, maybe they have an extra rule card in here on being a Dick Evolving. Um, yep, so that's a level and color and cost to Dick Evolve. So it says four. So I think that means of two of them that you can use either one. Um... So you can either get you from a green or a blue level four. Uh, yeah, so I think that's a big difference. So you can either get you all this from a level four for four cost or a level um, green for four cost. Um, or if you have both, you can. So basically, the three ways you can play this is pay eight just to play it straight. If you have one or the other, you can play four to digivolve it from a level four. Or, if you have both of them, you can play it for free. Um, it's just kind of cool being a digivolving. Alright, then we also have another super rare. We have two copies of Imperial Gemon Dragon Mode. Um, definitely love the artwork on these cards. It's kind of the same idea. Um, but it says, one digivolving, you may play a level... One level four lore blue Digimon or one level four lore green Digimon card from this Digimon's Digivolution card without paying for its memory cost. So he's an ancient dragon. Alright, up next we're going to get some new rookies. So we're going to kind of start the other line. So we got some four copies of Ko Kabuterimon. Um, so it looks like to me this is the rookie version of... Um, uh, 
oh, what's his name? Why can't I ever remember these names and I want to remember them? That's Megal Kabuteri Mine from Digimon Frontier. So I'm guessing that's supposed to be his kind of like rookie version. Um, well, you have a blue Digimon in play, this Digimon gains blocker. The opponent's Digimon attack, you may suspend this Digimon to force your opponent to attack it instead. We're going to get four copies of Worm Mon. Uh, end your turn, you may DNA Digivolve this Digimon and one of your other Digimon and play into a Digimon card in your hand by paying its DNA Digivolve cost. We're going to get four copies of his direct evolution, Stingmon. Uh, when you play this card from your hand, if you have one blue Digimon in play, reduce its cost by one. Uh, when attacking, if you have one blue Digimon in play, draw one. Now we're going to get two copies of Sneemon. Uh, security at the end of the battle. Play this card without paying its memory cost. On um, play, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. And then we're going to get some rares. So we have two copies of... Ooh, sorry, we have four copies of the rare Dino Beemon. Uh, so this is like the DNA gig evolving of um, Singmon and Vmon. But uh, Pyodramon is more Vmon. I think, I guess not, not where my, uh, XVmon and Stingmon combining. So it's basically, uh, one's more than the other. This is more Wormmon or Stingmon than XVmon, and the other one's the other direction. Um, if you want Gig Evolving, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. When DNA Gig Evolving, that Digimon doesn't unsuspend during its unsuspend phase. Your turn, this Digimon gets 1000 DP for each of its colors. Then we have some me some Megas here. So we have four copies of... Oh, sorry, this is still an ultimate. We have Jewel Beemon. So this should be Stingmon's ultimate form. Um, nothing extra special there. Just does some cool stuff. Uh, and then we have four copies of Grand Koagamon. Uh, security... Attack plus one, and when Digivolving gets 4,000 DP for the end of the turn. Then we will have our option cards. We're going to get two copies of Mega Death. Main, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Then return one to your opponent's hand. Unsuspend, turn one of your opponent's suspended Digimon to its owner's hand. And security can activate this during the main effect. We're going to get... Um, Three copies of Hell Masquerade. Um, main, one of your Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP till the end of turn. Then, if you have a blue Digimon play, one of your Digimon gains piercing for the end of turn. Uh, security adds this to its owner's hand. And then the final one we're going to get four copies of is another rare card. But this is from Booster Pack 1, card number 110. So this is... They've been doing this for the ag, uh, a card that fits the flavor from another set. Um, Inga here is to have all being brand new cards. So Flower Cannon is from the base, one of the base sets. So suspend one of your opponent's Digimon and security to spend all your opponent's Digimon without blocker. All right, so that was our first box. That was the ultimate ancient dragon. Up next, we're gonna look at the yellow and purple decks, which is kind of interesting. Um, kind of especially like the light and dark. So now, uh, like I said, the first two are based off of, um, kind of based off of uh, Davis and Ken from uh, Digimon uh, 02, uh, Adventure 02. This one's not really based off that. It does have um, Angemon or Angel Woman, which would be Kari's Digimon, but Lady Debimon doesn't belong anyway. So we're going to get Rule Cards again. This is going to be the same thing, just different colored picture. Uh, so I'm not going to flip over both of them. Then we also have our Meters. So we're going to get one for Lady Debimon, which is a nice, cool purple. It's that might like kind of like metal. It's not quite metal, but you know. Uh, and then Angel Woman. All right, then let's hop in. We're gonna start with our Digi Egg. 
So we'll start with a purple card. We have Nyeromon, who is uh, um, Garumon and Salomon, Angel Woman's uh, in training form. Um, when attacking, you have a yellow Digimon play draw one card. Uh, draw one card from your deck. You do trash one card in your hand. We're going to have four copies of Salomon. Um, end of your turn, you may gain a Digivolve this Digimon with one other Digimon in play. So it's Digimon card in your hand by paying its DNA Digivolve cost. Alright. Then we're going to get four copies of Lopmon. Is another rookie. Um, nothing extra special, just another good solid card. Uh, then we're going to get two super rares. So our first super rare child, a nice cool foil. Uh, a double sided one. They have kind of a little bit of a texture on there. Uh, is Gagomon. This is Salomon's evolution. Um, on play, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one yellow Digimon and one purple Digimon among them to your hand. Place the remaining cards in the bottom of your deck in any order. Your turn. When this Digimon would, di would Digivolve into a card with Archangel or Falling Angel in its traits, reduce the memory cost of the Digivolution by two. And end of your turn, you may gain a Digivolve this Digimon with one of your other Digimon in play into a Digimon card in your hand by paying its DNA Digivolve cost. Then we're going to get four copies of the regular rare Angel Woman, who this will have the Archangel trait um, on play. One of your opponent's Digimon gains security attack minus two until the end of your opponent's next turn. Digimon checks two for your security cards. And on your turn, when you have a purple Digimon play, this Digimon gains security attack plus one. Check one additional security card. Then our other super rare we'll get two copies of will be Mastamon. I was right. Some nice, cool artwork. I love how the foil is. There's a foil all the way on the top. You can see there. The main shiny, shiny foil is behind the artwork, uh, which makes the character pop a lot more. I love that type of foil. Um, so getting a Digivolve zero from a level five yellow and purple. Um, Digivolve unsuspended Digimon, two specified Digimon stacked on top of each other. Um, when Digivolving, place one yellow or purple Digimon card from your trash on the top of your security stack face down. When getting a Digivolving, you may search your security stack for one level 5 or lower Digimon card and play it without paying its memory cost and shuffle your security stack. All turns, when you play another Digimon using an effect, delete one of your opponent's Digimon whose level is less than or equal to that Digimon's level. Ooh, that's mean. Alright, then we're going to get to some more purple cards. So we have four copies of Ghostmon. Uh, oh, he drew on the back of Mon's space. That's funny. I love the artwork on these cards. Um, when you have a yellow Digimon play, this Digimon gains Blocker. Uh, two copies of uh, Sunamon, uh, which is basically an evil Pagamon, which is pretty funny. Uh, on play, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one card with Angel, Archangel, or Falling Angel in its traits among them to your hand. Place all the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. We're going to get four copies of Witchmon. Security, at the end of the battle, play this card without paying its memory cost. Uh, on play, return one purple level 5 or Digimon from your trash to your hand. Uh, we're going to have four copies of another dual colored. We'll have a wizard mon. Uh, doesn't have anything extra special, but he is dual colored, which is helpful. And then we'll have two copies of the ultimate Bassamon. Um, on play, delete one of your opponent's level three Digimon. We're going to get another rare card. So we're going to get Four copies of Lady Devimon, who's uh, just a regular type foil. Uh, when Digivolving, you may trash one card in your hand to reveal the top three cards of your deck. Then add one yellow and one purple with Angel, Archangel, or Falling Angel in their traits among them to your hand. Place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. Uh, on your turn, all your yellow Digimon gain retaliation. When this Digimon is deleted after losing a battle, delete the Digimon it was battling. 
And then finally for Digimon, we're going to get four copies of Junomon, which is a uh, uncommon, uh, like a Mega, um, who's also a Shaman and Olympus 7. Uh, so she has Retaliation, uh, so after being deleted, delete the Digimon is battling, and when Digivolving, trash the top three cards of your deck, then return one Digimon card from your trash to your hand. Alright, then we have some option cards. So we have two copies of Chaos Degradation. Um, place one of your opponent's Digimon face down at the top or bottom of your opponent's security stack. If you do, trash the top card of your opponent's security stack. And then security, you may place one of your opponent's Digimon face down at the top or bottom of its owner's security stack. Four copies of Darkness Wave. Um, main, trash the top three cards of your deck. Then if you have a yellow Digimon play, return one yellow or purple Digimon from your trash to your hand. Security, activate this main effect. And then our last four cards will be Night Raid, which will be from Booster Set 2, card number 108. Um, which is Night Raid. Play one purple level 3 Digimon from your trash without paying its memory cost. Any on-play effects on the Digimon don't activate. Um, yeah, so they play very different types of decks. Um, the combination of mixing the uh, two colors together is really fun. Uh, plus, again, like you said, like the original six starter decks just went one color each. Um, and then they kind of started theming them, um, which makes the game a little bit more enjoyable. Because now, like, hey, you can pick this up and you can try, oh... It makes sense to mix colors, but then these actually like give you definite bonuses for doing that with the dual colored cards and that. Um, yeah, so we'll check out. Uh, these are the two different boosters. Then you can check out or two different starters. Sorry, um, you can check out my other video where I go over the um, booster sets number eight, which will be the new awakening. So we'll go over a bunch of them. And Possibly two videos because of how many packs I got um, To see all the new cards. We're gonna get more cards from DNA Digi Evolving and Zero Two as well as some other dual colored cards um, So it's, again, here's our list of everything. So it's at least two of everything four of some of them um, Plus at least one card one option card from a different set uh, But yeah, you get two super rares uh, What? four rares Three rares. Three rares, two super rares in each one. Um, so not a bad deal either way. Alright, that's what we got. See you guys in the next video. Bye.